Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number 65. As always, thanks for tuning in. I do sincerely appreciate it. In today's tip of the day, it's going to be a quick one because I am really tired. I got home late and I need to get some sleep, but I am still going to give you some useful information. Uh, one of the things that you have probably noticed while you're working with source filmmakers is that sometimes your, your workspace can be a little cluttered. Uh, and by that, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to look at here. We've got like, you know, all these tabs and we've got the animation set editor and you can, we'll usually have at least one or two viewports up. Uh, and in particular down here, one of the things that I've found to be a little bit annoying is the, uh, uh, the timeline down here shows the multiple track groups by default, you have picture sound and overlay, and they have their child track groups within them. You can add uh, custom track groups by right clicking in the blank space underneath and saying I want to add a track group. So we'll just add one. And then you can add uh, tracks, channel, you know, a track, a channel track within that and so forth. But these can get a little bit cluttered and uh, it can be it can be a bit of a pain because I'm, I don't know about you. I'm used to using the mouse wheel to scroll up and down, but whenever I do that, it actually zooms in and out. And if I find that I end up wanting to, oh, okay, I need to go down here, I need to look at the overlay, or I need to go up here, I need to look at the picture. When you're working with Source Filmmaker, you're usually going to find yourself working with one or two elements of a shot at a time. You're, you're going to be working with keyframing and animation, or you're going to be working with uh, the sound and synchronizing it with something else, or you're going to be working with your color correction effects. So you're often only going to be working with one, maybe two track groups at a time. And so it might be useful to be able to hide the ones that you're not using. And to do that, you can go over here to, to the tools drop down and select show slash hide track groups. So I can uncheck the one that I added and I can uncheck sound. Let's pretend that I'm done with all of my animation work and I just want to work with the overlay stuff. Now everything is in one place and I don't have to scroll up and down. I can save, I can conserve a bit of space first off. Uh, and secondly, uh, I don't have to uh, scroll up and down uh, to, to get to certain elements of these track groups. And when I'm done and decide, okay, I'm done with my uh, with working with my overlay. Now I want to work with my sound stuff. Then I can do this, and I can work with my with my sound elements. You know, it, it's just a way of keeping your workspace a little bit cleaner and being able to focus on the things that you're currently working with instead of having this scroll bar over here. Uh, that, that forces you to go up and down to access different areas of uh, the, the various shots that you're working with. So that is really simply the, uh, the way that you can show hide your track groups and it uh, just makes it a little easier to deal with certain, you know, like I said, makes it, it's like cleaning up your desk. You know, you don't want to have everything that you're working with during the day on it all the time. You want to like have the things that you're working with right now on it. Uh, and that's, a, that's a, a useful way of taking care of that. So that is your tip of the day, number 65. As always, I am your host, Jimmer Linz, and I sincerely appreciate you tuning in, subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for all the great feedback, it is sincerely a pleasure to receive it, and I do uh, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, once again, I am your friend, Jimmer Linz. I thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. And until the next time when I bring you a tip of the day, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.